Hi, Dr. Sassy here from Sassy Surgical. There have been some really interesting research studies about the sleeve gastrectomy 10 full years later, and some people have asked me, what does that really look like? What, what can I expect 10 years later? Um, so if you hang in there till the end of this video, I'm going to tell you three important things that you can do 10 years later that are important to make sure you keep that success going. But first, let me tell you a little bit about the research and what we found here over the last 10 plus years since sleeve gastrectomy became the dominant procedure for weight loss and for treating type 2 diabetes. Um, the sleeve has been around now for over 15 years formally as a treatment for obesity and for type 2 diabetes, but actually sleeve gastrectomy goes back nearly 100 years when surgeons would perform a removal of the outer part of the stomach because of an ulcer or a tumor on the outer side of the stomach. Back then, surgeons had the choice of either making a horizontal cut and connection or a vertical cut and connection, and that became known as the vertical sleeve gastrectomy, the sleeve because what was left was sort of tubular shaped, kind of like a banana or like the sleeve of a jacket, just like this. Um, so we have a lot of long-term experience with the sleeve gastrectomy that way predates bariatric surgery. So we've always known that this was a very safe, low-risk procedure with very few long-term side effects. And that's exactly what's been borne out by our anecdotal experience in clinics like ours and also in published series which are now starting to hit the press uh, in the academic journals looking at sleeve gastrectomy 10 full years later. The most recent study has a nice comparison group with a large number of people who also had gastric bypass surgery and so they could compare people who have had no surgery, who did the worst of course, people who've had sleeve gastrectomy and people who had gastric bypass. And what they found was that the amount of weight lost and kept off among the people with sleeve gastrectomy or gastric bypass was about the same. It was statistically equivalent 10 years later. And the same was true for the number of people who had reversed or resolved their type 2 diabetes. Now there's other studies that have shown a small gain or a small advantage of gastric bypass when it comes to those two measurements, but it's always thought to be pretty small. And what's also been shown in very large studies uh, is that the uh, side effects are way fewer among people with the sleeve procedure. So there's way less problems with micronutrient absorption, vitamin deficiencies, any sort of blockage, ulcerations or the hypoglycemia, the low blood sugars, that can sometimes plague people with gastric bypass years later in small percentages. Um, so by and large what we're seeing now with people 10 years after their sleeve is that they've lost and kept off a substantial amount of weight for the long term, had major health improvement, major reduction in their mortality risk, major reductions in cardiovascular disease, heart attacks and strokes primarily, huge reductions in diabetes and diabetes related complications, and reductions in obstructive sleep apnea as well as a large number of other health problems uh, that we can enumerate. Um, those are on par approximately with the results of gastric bypass, but with about half or fewer of the complications. And so that's really what we see now both in our experience as surgeons right here uh, you know, at the ground level with real people, and also now in published academic papers. So I think that you know, gives good uh, sort of comfort to people looking at those long-term results. The downsides of sleeve gastrectomy 10 years later are fairly few. A percentage of people have worsened acid reflux, so gastroesophageal reflux, something that uh, in other videos we talk about and what we're doing to try to prevent or correct that. But that in these historical series comes up in 10 or 20% of people that it's increasing. Uh, and, uh, and small amounts of micronutrient deficiencies, uh, very not severe uh, levels of B12 deficiency, vitamin D deficiency, and iron, uh, none of which is as severe as gastric bypass or other types of procedures. Um, and lastly, a number of people need to have uh, endoscopy for a stenosis, so that might be one or two percent of people over the years uh, where they're having to stretch some scar tissue. So relatively few side effects uh, with the long-term view of the sleeve. And just exactly how much weight have people kept off? Well, in the large studies, uh, people would have lost somewhere in the 70 to 80% of excess body weight in the very maximum amount at the snapshot when they were at their lowest weight. But then 10 years later, they've now kept off approximately 55% of excess body weight. Our own internal data here has been that people have lost approximately 70% of excess body weight uh, at the one year, one and a half year mark, and then again kept off approximately 55% of excess body weight 10 years later. 
So uh, that gives you a pretty good idea and you can see that people in general are gaining weight and aging uh, as time goes by, of course, and so you need to be fighting it, fighting it doubly hard. Okay, so what are the three things you can do if you are 10 years later and hopefully you're enjoying those results? Uh, number one is really focus on exercise and that's aerobic exercise, walking, brisk walking, gentle walking, every day, seven days a week, more minutes than you ever thought was necessary. That is zone two exercise, builds mitochondria, helps reduce weight, fat burn, reduce your carbohydrates, reduce your hemoglobin A1C, reverse your diabetes. Number two, eat less carbs. So focus on healthy protein and vegetables and less on carbs. Try to get those slowly drained out of your diet and see if you can't continue that diet in a sustainable fashion for the long haul. So those remain the two top things. And number three is if you are not in that percentage of people, 80 plus percent of people who are enjoying those great long-term results, then look for solutions because you have not failed this procedure, the procedure has failed you, or it's just that uh, the procedure did not mesh perfectly with your genetics. So often, almost always, it can be revised or improved so that you too can enjoy those same results, live those additional high quality years and spend them with your, your family and your friends and do the things that you wanna do. So I wish you great health. I hope this has been a helpful video.